limiting reactant or limiting reagent problems. So to do these types of problems, you have to be um, you have to know stoichiometry, so just how to quantify uh, chemical quantities in a balanced chemical equation, and um, it's a process. Um, there's a couple ways of doing it. I'll try to demonstrate both ways. The first way is to calculate the theoretical yield of product of a product for each reactant. So a theoretical yield, any stoichiometry amount that is calculated, okay, calculated value given a balanced chemical equation is a theoretical yield. It assumes that the reaction is 100% efficient and that all reactant would be converted uh, along with the other reactant to product. Okay, so a theoretical yield is always calculated using stoichiometry. So here, in this particular example, we have aluminum. Aluminum is a reactant. And iron 3 oxide. Okay, so iron Fe2O3. Okay, don't forget your ionic compound nomenclature. So those are our reactants. In this equation, two moles of aluminum react with one mole of Fe2O3 to make one mole of aluminum oxide and two moles of iron. Okay. You might ask um, which product to, to use. Well, use the questions asking about aluminum oxide, so it makes sense to do that calculation. So we'll start with aluminum. Proceed using stoichiometry. We have 124 grams of aluminum. Okay. Remember, stoichiometry problems generally involve the workflow of grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. So we've got 124 grams of aluminum. We need to convert that into moles of aluminum so we can use our balanced chemical equation. From our periodic table, the molar mass of aluminum is 26.982 grams in one mole. So at this point, grams of aluminum cancel, we're in moles of aluminum. Okay. The product we're interested in is aluminum oxide, so we used the molar coefficients from the balanced chemical equation to predict how many moles of aluminum oxide you would produce from two moles of aluminum. Again, the assumption is you have excess of the other reactant. That's the assumption when you do this calculation. And using dimensional analysis, we want our units to cancel. We have two moles of aluminum. React to form one mole of aluminum oxide. And then, since the question is asking us for a mass of aluminum oxide, we'll go ahead and calculate the mass of aluminum oxide. Get one mole of aluminum oxide
weighs 101.96 grams. Now we can do that calculation. And if I do my math correctly, I get 234 point three grams of aluminum oxide. Okay. Based on sig figs, we have three sig figs in our mass. Keep track of it to there. It's significant to that four. And then we repeat the process for the other reactant for iron or Fe2O3. So we have 601 grams Fe2O3. In one mole weighs 159.7 grams given to us in the question. Then our molar ratios from our balanced chemical equation we have one mole of Fe2O3 Produce, when it reacts, will produce one mole of aluminum oxide. units cancel. Now you may ask why you one to one. It's just a good habit to be in uh, because not every molar ratio will be a one to one ratio. It's important to have the units cancel. It then aluminum oxide still weighs uh, 101.96 grams in one mole. and we'll see what that yield is. And if I do my calculations correctly, I get 383.7 grams of aluminum oxide. Significant to the three spot, three sig figs, three sig figs. So now, the limiting reagent is the one that produces the least amount of product. It's important to write down. The limiting reagent or reactant So looking at these two, see the aluminum, the 124 grams of aluminum would yield 234 grams of aluminum oxide if you had excess of the other reagent of Fe2O3. And then 601 grams of Fe2O3 would produce 383 grams, around up 384 grams of aluminum oxide if you had the other reactant in excess. So the aluminum produced the least amount. This would be the yield, the theoretical yield for the reaction. This is the theoretical yield.
because it produced the, the least amount. And this is the limiting reagent. Reactant. And then what that means for the Fe2O3, by default, it is the excess reagent. Or reactant. You have plenty of it.